Poached eggs are hands down my favourite way of serving eggs. They've got the perfect texture, great runny yolks, and despite what most people think, they're really easy to prepare. So today I'm going to show you a Turkish poached egg dish called Chilbir that is insanely addictive. It takes no time at all to prepare, and best of all, it tastes absolutely fantastic. If you're new here, I'm Obi, and I'm about to take your egg game from zero to hero. Now, let's get started. There's only three components that make up this dish. The poached eggs, a garlic yogurt sauce, and a spiced melted butter. So first thing we'll do is tackle the poached egg cooking technique. So you can end up with a perfectly cooked poached egg every single time. The first thing you need to consider is the egg itself. And with poached eggs, you want them to be as fresh as possible. The longer an egg sits, the more its whites will turn watery. This results in both a smaller amount of egg white once poached, and also causes lots of stringy floaty white bits that affect the final texture. So for that reason, I'd recommend buying your eggs up to a day or two in advance to get the optimal texture. If you already have your eggs or you keep your eggs in the fridge, there is another step you can take which will remove most of the wateriness. The solution is to crack your eggs into a sieve, and that will allow the watery whites to drain off of the egg while keeping the rest of the white and yolk intact. You can even do this with fresh eggs, but it isn't entirely necessary unless you want perfectly shaped poached eggs. Shake the sieve and allow as much of the liquid to drain off as possible, then pour your egg out into a ramekin or a bowl. In terms of the cooking technique, we're not going to be using any plastic or using the vortex technique because it really isn't necessary. We'll be using a pan to cook the eggs rather than a pot, and that's because we don't need the water to be crazy deep, and the increased surface area of the pan will help us fit more eggs in. Fill the pan with water so that it's a couple of inches deep, and place it over high heat. You want to bring this to a boil, or if you live in the 21st century and have an electric kettle, you can boil the water before adding it to the pan. Once it boils, turn the heat down to medium, and you want to maintain a very low simmer so that just a few bubbles of air are rising within the water. This is important because the more vigorously the water is boiling, the more it will disturb and spread out the egg whites. The other trick I'm going to employ is adding in one tablespoon of vinegar to the water. The reason we do this is to make the water more acidic, and that in turn causes the exterior of the whites to firm up quicker. This way you end up with a poached egg that is less spread out than if you were just using regular water. You can use any kind of vinegar for this, but I'd avoid something with a dark colour so that it doesn't stain the eggs. And I promise you it doesn't add any vinegar flavour to the eggs at all. Once your pan looks like this, you can start adding the eggs in. I always use a ramekin or a small bowl for this, as it allows you to control the positioning of the egg and gently lower it in. You can even partially submerge the bowl to get it closer to the bottom of the pan. As soon as the egg goes in, you can start a timer for two and a half minutes. The timer is important because it ensures you get a consistent cook on your eggs. From experience, two and a half minutes is about right for a medium or small egg, but for a larger egg, you'd want to increase it to three minutes. Every 30 seconds after the first egg went in, I can add another egg. This means I can follow the timer and I know that at two and a half minutes, I'll pull out the first egg, then every 30 seconds after that, I'll pull out the rest in the order they went in. So when your eggs are ready, use a spider or a spatula with holes to pull the eggs out. For filming purposes, I've placed them on a plate lined with paper towels, but I'd actually recommend you don't do this and instead allow them to drain in the utensil then place them directly onto your prepared serving plate. Per serving, I would recommend making two poached eggs, and you can multiply this by as many servings as you need. With the help of these steps, you'll have some amazing poached eggs. The whites should be fully cooked and clumped around the yolk, which should be nice and soft. When you break into the yolk, it should ooze out and be perfectly runny. If you're wondering why my yolks are so orange, that's because I went out and bought these delicious fancy eggs for this video. Although they cost twice as much as the price of a normal egg, they taste a million times better. So if you can afford to get fancier eggs just this once, I'd give them a try. From start to finish, poaching the eggs will take less than 10 minutes. And you can of course use this technique for any poached egg dish. Next we'll make the yogurt sauce, which will only take a couple more minutes. There's two varieties of this, one which contains fresh dill and one without. 
To make it, take a mixing bowl and per serving you'll add in 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of thick Greek yogurt or Turkish yogurt. The yogurt should be room temperature but if it isn't we'll add a little hot water to warm it up. Next in goes salt and per serving you'll use an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Finally we'll add in the garlic which we'll mince beforehand and I'd recommend only half a clove per serving otherwise it can be a bit too strong. Mix this all together until well combined. If you want to add the dill you'd need to remove the leaves from the stalks then chop them up finely and you'll need about half a teaspoon or one gram of chopped dill per serving. Once the yogurt sauce has been mixed, we can thin it out a bit with some water. If your yogurt was cold, you'd want to use boiling water, otherwise just use regular room temperature water. Add a little bit of the water at a time and work it into the yogurt until you get to this creamy consistency that resembles a fresh custard. Once you reach that texture, the sauce is done. To serve this, take a small plate or bowl and add your yogurt sauce to the center of it making sure to equally divide it if you're making multiple portions. Using the back of a spoon, push the sauce outwards from the center while rotating the plate and this should form the yogurt into a nice well shape. Now take your two perfectly poached eggs and add them to the well one at a time. I'd actually recommend plating the yogurt before you make the eggs so you can plate them straight after draining them. Finally, we'll make the butter sauce and this is what brings the entire dish together. In a small pan, add one tablespoon of butter per serving and allow it to melt over medium high heat. Once it is fully liquidized, add in a quarter of a teaspoon of pul biber or Aleppo pepper flakes. If you don't have these, you can use any other chili flakes instead, but you want something with a fruity mild heat. I've also seen paprika used and dried herbs, but you basically want to cook the spice in the butter for about 30 seconds. Once the butter is foaming and has developed a nice red color, pour it over your poached eggs. Make sure to include the fried pepper flakes as well and you can even add a bit more as a garnish. I also went with a pinch of flaky sea salt and that was the chill beer done. The dill one I plated in exactly the same manner except I garnished it with a little extra chopped dill. Lastly, you'll need to sort out your bread. I'd recommend Turkish simit which are kind of like bagels but in their place I use some crusty sourdough. Slice that in half then into quarters before slicing each quarter into medium thick slices. And that's how you make an amazing Turkish chilbir, the breakfast that I'm currently addicted to. If you're efficient in the kitchen, you should be able to make this in about 10 minutes, which is amazing considering the flavors involved. When you break into it, the perfect yolks should ooze out and I'll just leave you to admire the scene. Now, let's check out the taste test. Mm. That is damn good. You absolutely need to make this dish, there's no question about it. Just get the ingredients and make it because I guarantee it will instantly become one of your favorites. The yogurt sauce goes so well with the egg, making for a rich and creamy mouthful that is perfect with the crispy bread. The garlic and chili flakes transform this from a basic egg dish to something wonderful. And I can see this would be really easy to customize with other herbs and spices. In terms of the dill one, it just adds a bright herby flavor that I think you'll definitely love. That about wraps it up for this episode. If you make this dish, tag me in some photos on Instagram. I'd love to check them out. Thank you to our amazing patrons for making this video possible and if you love the eggs then consider joining them. Thank you for watching and I'll be back soon with another episode.